What's going on YouTube? Jordan or Mr. Quick Results here with another fucking video. And today I am going to tell you about the time I got expelled from my public school. Well, this is a long, long, long story, guys. Well, it's not very long, it's just very detailed. And so I had only really went to high school for two years. Because I had went to a wilderness program and I had went to a rehab program for probably about two years of my high school career. So freshman and sophomore year, I had went to a private school. And I could tell stories about how that went, how I went with the tether, and I didn't get kicked out, but how I was forced out of that school, and a whole bunch of other shit. And I could also tell stories about my rehab, we'll get to that eventually. But this one is about how I got expelled from Lance Cruz Public Schools. So basically, this story is my senior year of high school. I am 18 years old, and I am stupid. I wasn't very stupid, I was just, I was wrapped up with high school, let's just say that. So I had came back from rehab that summer. So I was going into my senior year and I had committed to play baseball at the number one community college in the country at the time called Lansing Community College. So I had just focused on that. It was right next to Michigan State. So I was half a mile from Michigan State at the number one baseball school and I play baseball. So I was hyped. I was super excited. I was already committed like a year and a half before my senior year. So I didn't even have to play my senior year of baseball if I didn't want to. But I did anyway, stupidly. I'll get to that story later. But so I, I was addicted to weed. That's why I went to rehab. That's when my parents sent me away. And I motherfucking always had pens or carts, depends what y'all call them. And I had about 15 pens on me every single day because I used to sell them, right? And I was just known as the plug man. I, I would make like three thousand dollars a week from carts or pens, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, that was my little side hustle in high school. So I go to this school and shit's not different. Like I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to always in the bathroom, selling pens, always doing my thing. And I know a couple people because I went to their middle schools, but I, I never knew anybody in high school. So I was talking to a couple people that I knew in middle school and I was like, hey, yo, like take a video of me. So I have four boxes of carts in each hand and I put it up to my ears and I was like, hey, yo, tap in. Everyone knows we got them even at school. So that was the dumbest thing I could have ever done, bro. Showing flaunting drugs in the hallway in school. And she took a video of it and she posted on her private story. If you all know private stories, you got to be on it. So she doesn't know whoever did it. She really doesn't because a lot of people screenshotted it. A lot of people screen recorded it because it was funny, right? And so I'm just chilling. I think everything's fine. The next day of school comes. I walk in, I got my backpack, I probably only got like eight, nine, ten carts left. And the principal's waiting for me at the door with a cop. I'm like, what the fuck? Like what is going on? And he goes, Jordan, will you come with us please? I'm like, oh shit. What the fuck did I do now? I'm just used to that shit, because I, I had been locked up before and I had been to rehab for like two and a half years. So I, I was used to getting in trouble and shit. So I already, I already knew they were disappointed. Like the look in their eyes had the like disappointment look. So I knew I had done something, but I didn't know what it was. So they walk me to the office and they're like, so we got an anonymous email yesterday of a video with you walking around our school with drugs. In my mind, I'm like, who the fuck snitched, bro? Like, who is an op? Like, I need to fucking know, dog. Like, you are main op number one at this point. So they're like, do you mind if we search your bag? So in my mind, I'm like, I'm thinking, like, I always like little law shit. I was like, do they have reasonable articulate suspicion? Yeah, they got razzed. They were told I had drugs on the school grounds. I was like, do you guys have a right to? And they're like, yeah, we have every right to. We just ask because it's courtesy. So I was like, all right, like, go ahead. So they pull out and they pull out the eight boxes of carts or whatever it was. And they go, are you serious, bro? Like, what is this? And I'm like, I'm not going to lie. I came out with the smoothest, quickest response of my life. Thank the Lord. I was like, hey guys, I just went to the dispo last night. I picked those up. They're all for personal use. I slept in my car because there was some fighting going on at home and I just didn't want to deal with it. I forgot to take them out. And yeah, they were like, oh, you have your med card? Like, are you 18? I was like, yeah, I'm 18. I got my med card. I pulled it out, showed them my med card. They looked at each other. They talked for probably about five minutes amongst themselves. They were like, all right, Jordan, we're going to have to ask you to leave the room for a little bit. So I was like, okay. 
So I left the room and they called me back in and they were like, so here's the thing. We know you're committed in baseball. Baseball season starts in a couple months. We need you on the team. So in my head, I'm like, no way that this shit saved me. They're like, but at the same time, you cannot be flaunting your personal medical marijuana for others to see on school grounds. So you're not going to be able to come back to this school, but there's an alternative school that you can go to. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, shit, like I'm not going to no alternative school. But they're like, or you could take this test because you're pretty damn smart. And you could test out the grade. Not like test out the grade, but I basically had to do my classes. I had to take the final exams for my classes. And if I passed, you know, since I didn't finish the class, but I got it over a passing grade on the final, it would count. Because, you know, finals way more than like homework and shit anyway. So I took the finals and I passed. So like, all right, bro, like you're expelled from this school. You cannot come back on the grounds. You're not allowed to come to sporting events. You're not allowed to do any of that besides... You are allowed to play baseball. We're going to mark you as attendance like one day a week that you're an active student. You're allowed to come play baseball. So as soon as the baseball season came around, I rolled out and I played baseball for them until I got hurt. I did good as fuck. W program. W Barachi. And yeah. So I, that was really like, I think that was illegal too. Like, I don't think they're allowed to like fucking say I'm going to school if I'm not going to school, if you know what I mean. But it ended up working in my favor because I ended up getting a job and I was making some money and shit, as well as training with baseball. Like, it's super nice not having to go to school. Super nice, especially at 18, bro, if you don't have to go to school. And, like, I didn't have shit to worry about because I got my diploma in, like, November, bro. Like, they literally gave me my diploma and I was still playing high school sports. I don't know how that shit works. That school must just love me, bro. Anyways, guys, that is the story about how I got expelled from Lance Cruz Public Schools. Make sure y'all like and subscribe for more story times. I'll be back with another one tomorrow.